So first off, the one thing I think we really need to work on in Colorado is this the assessment testing. We test to test. Let me give you an example. So you take an assessment and it's supposed to be for the child, the student, and it's supposed to be for the teacher to know where that teacher, how well the teacher's teaching. So they take the test. You don't get the results until the next year. Now that would be an equivalent to me being on my job, taking this test and getting evaluated and not getting the results about how well I'm performing on my job till the next year. That defies common sense. If we're gonna do state assessment testing, then we should get the results within the timely manner, within the school year, 30 to 60 days, so it's effective for the teacher and the student and the parent to say, here's where my child is, and then at the end of the school year, you have another one, so you know if there was an improvement. How can you rate a teacher if you have no idea where they started and where they ended? In, in Brighton, the school district that I work at, we are one of the, the lowest um, funded school districts in the uh, state, especially in the metro area. And so it's been a constant challenge for us to try and meet the needs of our students um, with fewer resources and less time and more pressure. You know, we, uh, we're, we're constantly comparing apples to oranges. We, we get results with, from students that we no longer have as a teacher. And, uh, you know, if we were able to get that, those results in a more timely manner, we'd be able to, um, you know, put it into practice and really affect the students that we're teaching at the time. One of the things that I think we've, we've gotten away from in our high schools is we used to have two different tracks. We used to have a technical vocational track, and then we had a track for the, the, the student who wanted to go on to be the chemist, which is fine. You know, both tracks are fine. But we no longer fund the technical and the vocational like we used to, and I think we really need to get back to that. It makes sense. And one of the things that I, I funded um, and voted for at the Joint Budget Committee is, is what we call concurrent. Um, schooling is where you are allowed to be in high school, go to the local community college, we would pay for the kids' classes, right? And they would end up having an associate degree by the time they graduated from high school. So that made sense to me. There is no career that doesn't require additional training. So whether it is going to get an associate's degree so that you can go into um, a medical aid field or going to um, a program so that you can become a mechanic. You have to have some training. And we are really pushing our kids to understand that. You have to go somewhere. So we are really pushing hard to get our kids to go into uh, many different fields, but to know that they are, there will be training at every level, whatever they decide to do. As teachers, we're often told what we need to be doing differently and how we can improve. What I like about Janice is that she comes and asks and listens and wants to know what we need and what she can do to help us. Um, it's nice to be um, looked at as an expert and that we understand what we need in our own field instead of being told by somebody what we need in our own field. I appreciate her willingness to listen.